Hi everyone, welcome back to the Armour All Summer Grill. Tim Hodges joined by Jack Perkins. Uh, Jack, we're tossing around plenty of big topics in V8 supercars. One of those in 2016 will be the performance of Will Davison in his new home at Techno Autosports. How do you think Will will fare? Well, I mean, he's in a triple eight car now. Um, we've seen Shane Van Gisbergen win races in this car and team. So if for Will, it's now back to a competitive environment. You know, he did win a race for Erebus last season, but week in, week out, just nowhere near the competitiveness he's chasing. But, you know, he's also been to three teams in six years or something like that. So he needs to really find a home now, build, uh, build that up and be challenging for championships. This team is a last start winner though, that really ramps up the pressure on Will Davison that do you see anything less than multiple race wins and contending for the championship will be a fail for Davison in 2016? Well, I, I think so. I mean, he's very highly regarded in the paddock as being a very talented and fast race car driver. And we've seen, you know, at HRT and FPR when he was the, both those teams that he was week in, week out competing for races and ultimately there at the end for the championship as well. But like I said, you need to settle down and find a home and really build a team around you. We've seen Jamie Winkup do that. We've seen Mark Winterbottom do that. And Will Davison, to get in that mould and to be a champion, needs to build this team around him and be in for the long haul. As you said before, he has been at multiple race teams. Would he be conscious of that and that he has to make techno work for his long-term career and future in this sport? Oh, I mean, you'd, you'd think so because there's not a lot of teams left, I guess. You know, you can't go to every team and, and run a revolving door. He's getting through them. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely getting through them. But like I said, now you're in a triple eight car, albeit a customer one, so it's got good foundation. And the team at Techno do a great job, which we've seen over the years. And I think they're cemented to being in the sport for a long time to come. So if not challenging for a championship in 2016, then 2017 needs to be circled for a big year for this car team and driver. And he's watched from afar for so long, his good friend, Jamie Winkup, in the Triple Eight gear winning championships. What sort of relief would it be to finally be in a Triple Eight machine and have almost the same gear that Jamie's got to try and contend and try and beat him for the championship? Well, that's all, all of the drivers, or most of the drivers are so keen to have Jamie Winkup's equipment to see if they can match what he's done. And you know, Will Davison, as you say, has been long time friends with Jamie. They grew up racing together and they've beaten each other and they've raced hard together from go-karts through to Formula Ford and into V8s. So for him now, like you say, he's got that same equipment and he'll be really yard sticking himself against Jamie and really hoping that he can beat him. All right, thanks for your time, Jack. There you go, Will Davison. So much pressure on his shoulders to get the job done at his new home in Techno Autosport in 2016. Well, Will, you made a, a big announcement to, to switch teams next year, but it's a really exciting opportunity, isn't it? Uh, listen, it is. Um, some mixed emotions, but uh, that's that's the game we play. And um, I've had a I've had a great two years at Erebus. To be honest, it's it's had its ups and downs, but um, no regrets. I've actually learnt so much out of this situation. I feel like I've become a, a better driver through some of the experiences I've been with and working with this team and working with some brilliant people. Um, we've been hamstrung in in certain ways. Uh, and unfortunately, yeah, probably the progression quite hasn't gone to plan for myself or, or the, the team, to be honest. And in the next couple of years, they've still got quite a bit of rebuilding to do and um, some uncertainties. And uh, listen, I feel the next two, three years to me are just absolutely crucial. I feel like I'm at my peak and, uh, you know, I've still got a massive desire and uh, determination to, to clinch a championship. I've come so close and... Uh, you know, I really felt like the next two years I've got to be in a team and with the equipment that's going to provide that and, um, you know, I really, really feel good about where I'm going. Each week, Armour All will be giving away the ultimate summer pack. The pack comprises of a range of summer products such as the Armour All foldable chair, Armour All hat, chiller esky bag, bottle opener, Armour All stickers, along with a range of Armour All products to keep your car looking cool and clean this summer. To enter the draw, all you have to do is click on the link below and fill in your details, it's that easy. See you tomorrow for another episode of the Armour All Summer Grill. So you've finished washing your car, or you think you've finished washing your car, but there'll be a couple of areas left, and typically they'll be under your wheel arches here and your mud flaps. Now, a great product for that is the Armour All Tire Foam. Whilst it's actually designed for tyres, works great in those areas. All you've got to do is spray the foam under in and around there. The foam will actually collapse, take away the grime, and just leave a nice clean surface under there. And let me tell you, when you've got your car washed and that bit's done, now it's clean.